Hey YouTube and welcome to a review of the Thrustmaster TX racing wheel. This is the leather edition, it's also the Xbox compatible edition. I'm going to talk you through some of the standout features on the wheel and then we're going to take it on track, drive a lap of Spa Francochamp and I'll tell you exactly what it feels like to drive with. So straight up, first impressions of this wheel, this is the leather edition, comes with a nice leather coating. It's quite a smallish size wheel in terms of the overall diameter of it and it's got pretty nice feel to it, things like the spool paddles which have got like a really kind of sturdy kind of clunk to them. Quite a lot of buttons on the wheel as well so you can assign these to various different functions, you know lots of versatility there. You've got this nice little rotary dial knob which is pretty cool for switching between different modes and things. So straight away it feels very quality, it's got good kind of build, build quality to it I'd say. It comes with a nice clamp if you're trying to bolt this to a desk so it's very sturdy kind of well built feeling to it. The standout feature is of course that you can use this both on a PC and on an Xbox. It's got the Xbox guide button so you can go straight into your menu on Xbox and switch between modes. Overall like looking at it out of the box I'm pretty impressed. It also combines with Thrustmaster's T3 PA pedals which are the pedals I started out racing with. They've got good kind of resistance to them. They also come with Thrustmaster's own um, load cell that you can bolt onto the brake pedal to give a little bit more resistance so there's a bit of flexibility in the way you kind of adapt them and customise them particularly for your own sort of feel and what you like to have. In terms of travel, this wheel has 270 to 900 degrees of movement in terms of the rotation. So yeah, pretty much everything you're gonna need, you could use it for a rally game or Formula One, whatever you wanna do, you can twirl it as much as you like. One thing to mention on this, it uses Thrustmaster's patented heart technology, which is Hall Effect Accurate Technology and basically that means that it uses contactless magnetic sensors which basically give you a load more precision and reliability. It also uses brushless servo motors to give you a silky smooth action and dual belt uh, setup inside which means that you reduce a lot of the friction and it means it's very quiet when it's running. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed with it. Like first impressions are really, really good ones. So let's take it on track and see what it's like to actually drive with. Okay, folks, welcome to Spa Francochamp. We have just completed a warm up lap and I'm going to talk you through a lap as we plunge into Eau Rouge. Now, straight away I'd say that this wheel is really really smooth in terms of the feedback and the weighting to it there's no inertia it does feel very much like any input you make is very direct and you get a nice feeling not only of things like the curbs of any kind of rumbling but as the car kind of weights up coming into and out of the corner you get a really nice feeling as you kind of load the car and the suspension up and you start to get that feeling of g-force as the chassis is kind of straining over the bumps a little bit it does feel like compared to some of the wheels i started using when I first got back into sim racing at the beginning of this year which were a little bit clunky and there was a bit of a delay between some of your input certainly like if the car got out of shape and you were trying to catch it whoop sorry should have held on just a second there sorry I'm not Jimmy Broadbent I don't normally uh, talk while I'm <laughs> putting in hot laps um, yeah, in terms of winding an opposite lock, you sometimes have this kind of delay between your inputs and what the car's actually doing, and you don't have that with this wheel. It's got a really nice, I guess I'd just say it is really very smooth, you know, that, that the feeling of how your inputs are translating into the car itself. Well folks, I've got to say I'm pretty impressed with this wheel. Thrustmaster will sell it to you for just under £400, which I think is really good value because if you're looking for something at that price point that comes with pedals, that also gives you the versatility of being able to change the wheels on it. It's worth saying that 
you know, the wheels will come with this threaded boss, which is super simple to just switch the wheels out. So you can add to this as you go. You can put rally wheels, Formula One style wheels with millions of buttons, whatever you want to do. This setup is going to give you a lot of flexibility going forwards. It does feel very smooth and consistent in terms of the feedback you get from it. And that's really the first thing that I'd say you want in any kind of wheel because when you're trying to improve your driving and your inputs and car control, having something that's got smooth and consistent feel is, is an absolutely critical thing. It's also got good kind of weight to it as well. I put the force feedback up on the wheel at one point just to see how much resistance it can generate and it will give you quite a lot of, uh, quite a lot of pushback, which is, which is good to know. So yeah, for the price point, and especially if you want something that gives you versatility to use it on an Xbox, I definitely recommend this guys, go check it out. There's a link in the description if you wanna know more or find out where you can buy one of these. And so yeah, tune in, I'll see you guys soon. Don't forget to subscribe to my videos and I'll see you again in a week or so. Bye.